Hey, what's up, Charms? Um, this is Anna. I'm back with another pick a card. Um, so this pick a card, um, this video is going to be for um, what are you still holding on to from the past? What needs to be let go? What is still lingering in your energy? You know, sometimes we tend to hold on to things from the past and it kind of prevents us from moving on or having for, um, having our lives to be transformed into what we actually want in our lives and actually deserve in our lives. So, you know, this is, if you have been wondering why your life has been stagnant, why have you, it's been hard, so hard for you to move on, or why does recur recurring things or patterns keep happening in your life, then this is the pick a card for you. Um, you know, so pick your card. Um, this is pile one pile two and pile three um so yeah um if you haven't chosen your your stack then um, go ahead and pause it if you need to go ahead and pause it um don't forget to like comment subscribe you know add the notification bell so when i upload more videos in the future you could get notifications be the first one to view it um yeah so let's get to it oh just want to you know shout out my my sex candle my six magic candle um i've it's, i've made it i will have my etsy shop also linked to the bottom i create a lot of um um candles candle magic is my thing and i love doing candle magic so i will add my etsy to the um to the um description in the bottom if you guys want to go ahead and check it out there is reviews on it you guys can check out the reviews but you know I create a lot of uh, beeswax. I work a lot with the bee spirit. So just a little, just a little there. So if you guys want to go ahead and check out what um, all the fuss is about with about my six magic candles, because you will not be disappointed. Let me tell you that. Um, the my six magic um, candle is it is a three in one um, massage oil. Um, so the the oil the wax that is melted from the from the candle it actually turns into oil that can be used on your body so anyways yeah so you guys can read more about it in my etsy shop so just a little fyi anyway so let's dive right back in um so yeah so if you have chose your pile go ahead and click on the timestamps. if not then um go ahead and pause it but i will go ahead and get started so pile one if you pick pile one pile one Okay, so for pile one, what are you still holding on from the past? Uh, when, what do you need to let go? What do you need to release? Or what are you working on releasing? Uh, what is still lingering in your energy? So with the charms, I feel like you're still holding on to emotions, things that keep you on balance, or to things that um, keep you on edge, or things that kind of give you anxiety. Or that take away your peace. With this little um, planet right here, I'm getting like Saturn, Saturn vibes here. Or you tend to do a lot of things. Um, you tend to put yourself in repetitive cycles over and over again. Or you keep um, going in circles about a situation, about a place or thing. To be honest, this little charm right here, I have no idea what it means or what it is. But what I'm getting from it is just like, I know it's a sign for, um, I think, Joanne the Ark. Um, this, I've seen this sign around Joanne the Ark a lot. But I'm getting like, you had to like break away or kind of break yourself in parts is what I'm getting from it. Okay, so let's go right into it. So the first uh, the first card we get is the past, of course. Uh, so if, like, you know, it seems like you're still holding on to the past. You're still looking into the past. You're still stuck in the fog of the past. Maybe again with the little um, Saturn thing right here, this planet is like you keep going around and around in circles in regards to the past or you keep lingering in the energies of the past. Six, seven, eight, nine. So three and six equals nine. So nine, that's also, um, you know, like a karmic cycle that you keep putting yourself in again with the circle, like the cycle they keep putting yourself in. And then right here, if it looks like, a, I don't know if you guys can see, like a little mace, 
like that's what i feel like you guys keep putting yourself in this you guys are in this maze you guys are like do don't know or can't find your way out something that keeps disturbing your peace from the past so we got deep knowing with the deep knowing i feel like this is something that it's deep deeply rooted within yourself is what i'm getting from it something that does that keeps your 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 spirit on edge again that that I'm hearing the feeling of being left out, of being left out in the cold. Also with the deep knowing, it's something that you might keep, you know, so things from the past keep learning it, but you might not know what it is. And you might need to like search within you to actually find the root of this cause like i feel like something is very deep within you that it's like still within you there's a root within you that needs to be pulled out because this root has been rooted very deep within you and it's from the past and it's like you might know kind of what it is but it's like you're still holding on to it though Retreat and recharge, hermit. Enlightenment. Stabbed in the back. Coffin. Love. Okay. So this could have been in regards to a love interest. It might have been like a stabbed in the back. Oh, sorry. Let me put this up real quick so you can see the... So this could have been a, a love interest with a love card. Could have been, um, this person could have stabbed you in the back or could have created a lot of um, heartbreak or pain in the, in the, in the past. So it's like, it, you're still holding onto it from the past. Let me fix my camera real quick so you can see more cards. Okay, I think there we go. So I feel like it's something that it's still going on and on that I needs to end already so that you can liberate yourself from it. So that that transition can finally take over this and you could grow from it. Because I feel like you're this, I feel like this, whatever happened in the past was also for your enlightenment, meaning it was for your spirituality, for you to grow. And you're being asked to go within. Again, there's a sense of going going within you. There's a root within you that needs to be taken out. It needs to be cut out. It could have this this person could have hurt you so bad that it has created this this root of resentment in your heart. And then it's 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 kind of keeping you in the past. It's keeping you stagnant. It's keeping you from moving on. It's keeping you in the clouds, not not being grounded. This could have been very, maybe very shocking to 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 you. That's a, maybe that's something that you still can't grab a hold of it or still believe it. But it's messing with your peace. There's a sense of needing to reach to retreat and find where this rooted, where this root is within you because it's causing a lot of friction. It's causing a lot of stagnation in your life. Like, you need to put this already to rest. Basically, like, R.I.P., late, bye. Like, it's time to cut it out and bury it. It seems like this has also, you know, um, cut up your passion in life. It seems like it just, keep, like, like, you're just stuck in the past and it's keeping you from moving on or from, you know, maybe finding a new love. If it is if it is in regards to a past love, like, I've, if you pick this group, I feel like it has to do with the, with the past love. But it's keeping you from, from actually getting the person that you deserve because you're still stuck in the past. I'm still stuck in the past for what this person did to you. The pain that, that this person caused the heartbreak 
and it's time to liberate yourself but you must there's there's a need to go within there's there's a need to tap into your spirituality there's a need to of balance you're too much in the in the into the 3d world until you're too much into like material things like it's time to tap back into your spirituality and heal it because there's a root within you that needs to be plugged out it needs to be plugged out there's a there's a root of pain once you liberate yourself from this and put it to rest and you find the root of this matter you will move on But I'm hearing you must take the reins of your life. I'm hearing deep down you know what it is. Deep down you know, you know. You know what it what it, it's keeping you stagnant in the past. You know what you don't want to face. You know what you don't want to accept. But it's time to cut it out. It's time to let go. Stop holding on to it so tight. It's time to let go. This is how all have been for your growth, but it, it really took a big impact on you, but it's, it's time to let go. It's time. Regain your peace. Regain your balance. And then with the hermit's hair, I feel like it, it's growth. Again, I'm hearing growth. Like, it's, it was all for your growth. It's time to get out of the box, out of that maze that you have been putting yourself over and over again. I'm hearing also that maybe it could have been a friend. There was a shocking attack from a friend. A friend backstabbed you. Okay, so that's all I'm getting for group one. I hope this has brought you acknowledgement, healing to yourself. And I will be moving on to group two. So group two. So group two. So for group two, we have an owl. We have a butterfly. We have an angel, we have a horse. With the angel, I feel like there's um, angelic forces around you right now, waiting to help you transform and heal. And with the horse, I'm hearing like you keep catching your tail or you like you keep chasing your tail. And with the owl, I'm getting maybe you were ignoring your intuition. It's something that you knew, but you just kept ignoring intuition. So let's see for group two. What is it that you keep holding on from the past? What needs to be released? So we got divine wisdom. Makes sense with the owl. Fork in the road. Number 13. I think I might say you're wrong, but Sholene Master. Be graceful in movement and action. Right away, I'm getting... With the fork in the road and be graceful in movement and action, I feel like there's been a lot of... A lot of dramatic changes in your life. 
a lot of twists and turns. A lot of pulling here and there. Or a lot of being feeling tied up to something. Again, we have another owl. I feel like intuition, you, I feel like you have been ignoring your intuition. I feel like you've been ignoring your wisdom, your own um, feminine, feminine energy that you have inside of you of that deep knowing. We got the night. Be brave and honest. So there's a sense of, of not being honest with ourselves in regards to something or someone. Or maybe our intuition has been telling us, you know, telling you in regards to a person who's been wearing a mask. Like, it could have been towards a person that, you know, your intuition was always warning you in, regard, in regards to somebody. Someone. But you have seemed like you were, you were, you're, you were like turning a blind eye towards this situation. But it's like you knew. Like, there was a deep knowing within you. Is that you would rather look the other way. I feel like this situation could have you at a point where you don't know where you stood or you don't know which route to take with the situation. Could have felt like you always had to be on guard. Or you always had to protect yourself from something or someone. It could also be that you're running away from your fears. There is a lot of orange as well. Sacral energy. You might be running away from who you know you're supposed to be in life or who you deep down inside you know who you want to be, but you're afraid of being yourself or showing the world the real you of being honest of who you are to the world, if you're hiding behind a mask, or maybe yourself, you're hiding behind a mask, and you're having trouble of seeing who you are, could it be in regards to your sexuality? You might be running away from trying to show the world the real you, even with your sexuality, you know? Hiding behind the mask. Staying in the darkness, staying in the cave, staying behind doors. It could also be that you always have to fight for, to, to show people who you really are, or it's like, or you always had to fight for people, or fight for something or someone. This could also be that, you know, you're holding on from things from the past in regards to a mother. Maybe the rest of falling out with the mother figure. There could have been some harsh words said.
This could also be that there was there's there's a feeling feeling restraint from the past, feeling stuck. But you're not really stuck. If you can see, you know, it's like it's not really tied up to the pole, but it's like you might be stuck from the past not knowing where you need to go. But intuition's been trying to guide you. 13-2 is feminine energy, intuition, deep knowing. It's like you might know where you want to go, but it's like you don't do it. Sun. Let me just move my camera. So we got sun. Again, that facing the sun. It's just not want to, like it's like you're stopping your own happiness for not wanting to be honest or being brave of who you really are or running away from your fears or even running away from the past. Community. Feeling like maybe you don't fit in your community. You don't fit, you know, around the people or the friends that you're surrounding yourself with. You might know this, but you might be afraid of speaking up for yourself or, or might be afraid of moving on from this situation. Again, it could be in regards to your sexuality. Another more butterflies. You might be running away from showing the world who you really are. Again, of showing your wings, showing your uniqueness. You might be afraid of coming out of the shadows. You might be afraid of, of not having a voice in your own community. So we got sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. We have ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, New phase, preparing for union. Clock needs needs time, takes time, in time, cycles, time to heal, progress. So like, yes, it's time to move on. I feel like it's if you have been thinking of a situation of maybe even a relationship, if you have been thinking of that, that if it's time to move on or you keep holding on to this person then yes it is it is time to move on it is time to heal and progress it's tra it's time to transcend the situation it's time to transform the situation i feel like this group is either afraid of coming out of sprouting of blooming some of you can't even be um, stalking or looking at things from the past or people from your past I'm hearing it's time to let the sun come out. It's time to transform yourself from the darkness and go into the light. The sun is rising. 
it wants to rise. But we must be honest with ourselves. What are we running away from? What are you not wanting to face? What are you not wanting to, to, to view? What are you being so defensive about in your life? What boundaries do you need to put with the mother finger? I feel like this cycle has already run its course. It's time to let go of this cycle and start a new cycle because there's a lot of butterflies. There's transformation that wants to happen. You know, it's time to heal. Like this cycle has already run its course. It's time to let transformation come into your life because trans trans transformation is coming. It wants to come in. It wants to take you out of where you've been in the past into the light, into what you have always wanted, into your abundance. Like your intuition has been guiding you, trying to take you to your success and happiness. It's time to let the sun in. It's time to bloom. It's time to show the world who you are. Trying to see if I got have anything else for the second group. I'm here. It's time to pull yourself up. It's time to ascend. It's time to to pull yourself up and get yourself out of the gutter. What do you keep focusing on? It's time to focus on yourself. Okay, and that's all I have for the second group. I hope it has brought you guys some healing into your life and light. So, pile three, pile three, 25. So pile three, we have the seahorse, we have moon, we have a little bear and we have a key. Let me get this out of the way. So with the moon again, I'm hearing mother. This is the moon represents the mother. But there might be a sense of feeling incomplete. And there might be a sense of feeling like something's missing. Or feeling like you don't fit in. Intuition, illusions, emotions, because we have the seahorse, emotions. Movement forward slowly. I feel like you, um, this group might have a lot of emotions. You might need a bear hug. Then we have a key. Hmm. Again, of kind of looking of where um where to place it, meaning where to where to use it, where do you fit? What is the where does it fit? Let's look into this. So what are you still holding on from the past? What needs to be let go? What needs to be released? So this group actually has the most cards. And from each deck, everything had two cards. From every deck, two cards. Two cards came out. Every deck. Two, 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 two. So that could either be partnerships, balance. So the first card regard is um, Goddess Oshun, generosity.
We got Goddess Athena, Knowledge. Clean it up. Higher power. I feel like for this group, there's been a lot of changes with the number five and then they clean it up. Where it's either that your life currently needs to clean up in your, in your life. There's a lot of things, a lot of clutter, a lot of maybe mental clutter, a lot of old memories. And then look, how funny, how funny. Key and then the higher power card has a, like a little lock thing in the forehead, if you can see right there. And then we have knowledge, and then it's, and it's the third eye, and then the moon. Illusions. I feel like there's a lot of illusions in your life that needs to be cleaned up. Things that you're not seeing. Things are foggy. And then we have a four and a five. Slow movement, or you're not taking the step. Then we got another four over here. It's, I feel like either this group is always taking care of somebody else. Like you're always, you're always more aware of others than what you are to yourself. Like you're always so generous with everybody around you but yourself. There's a sense to clean up the, your thought process or the way you think or the way you talk to yourself. There's a sense to, to tapping into the knowledge that you have or that you have learned from the situations in your life and let go of them and finally release the situations that you have learned and the lessons that you have endured in life or in the past so that you can move on forward. Like, it's time to clean up your act. It's time, up, it's time to open your eyes to the things that are in front of you and you have been ignoring or not wanting to see. Because that is what's keeping you from moving on forward or from finding your limits in life that you could create your lemonade, if that makes sense. It kind of prevents you from, from, from moving on or like you're trying to find your foot in life and it's like you can't because you're, there's things that you're still holding on. <coughs> I'm sorry. There's things that there's um, things you're still holding on or there's people that are still around you in your life that needs to that need to go. Your life needs to be cleaned up. Like there's a deep um, spring cleaning that needs to be done in your life. Is it has to do physically, mentally, and spiritually? That has to be done in order for you to take the next step in life. That needs to where you need to go. Because you're always so worried about others instead of yourself. Like you're always a mama bear, always. So we got Father Sky, trust in the unknown. Sage, be devoted and committed. Let me put this down because this is getting on my nerves. Anyways, I'm not gonna fight with it. Um, okay.
but the father sky um this could also be you know situation in regards to a male or a father figure in your life And again, with the devoted and, com and commitment, it's like you're putting your devotion in other things that is not but yourself. Forgiveness. And then we have change upside down. Again, there's that sense of holding on. Holding on to a lot of things that is preventing change to coming into your life. Forgiveness. Forgive yourself for hold, holding on too long. Forgive others. Forget those that who have hurt you so that you may be able to forgive and move on forward and receive the change that has been wanting to come into your life. So that you may now take that first step forward in life. Some might be waiting for somebody to come um, to reach out for forgiveness. But then that's keeping you upside down. It's keeping you in this, you know, hangman energy for waiting around. It's like you guys need to trust. Trust that, you know, there is actually a higher power here at work. Trying to help you to clean up your life. It's like you keep carrying on too much. You keep carrying on too much. Be generous enough with yourself to let go and forgive. It's time to clean it up. See, then we got cassette and we got date. So cassette, outdated thinking, condition, replaying events over in your head. Meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan, set a date. Again, with the cassette, it's like either, you know, be careful how you speak to yourself, clean up your thoughts. What, what events do you keep replaying in your mind from the past? These events could have been towards someone that you were dating. Because it, it might have not been an actual connection. It could just been somebody that you were dating. This person could have came and turned your world upside down. But it's like it's time to clean up that mess. Forgive and time to clean up that mess. Trust that there's actually someone out there for you. Be generous enough with yourself because you know that there's someone out there for you. And deep down, you knew that this person was not for you. So clean it up and let's move on forward. Be careful of the thoughts that you keep replaying in your head. Forgive yourself for thinking of these thoughts of the way you've been talking to yourself. Get yourself out of this mindset. Get yourself out of this outdated thinking so that you may, may move on forward. Clean up that outdated thinking. This could also uh, mean uh, with the date card that, you know, some of you guys may keep replaying a date in your in your head, meaning you know uh, an event that happened on a certain date that you keep replaying in your head. You know, use the knowledge that it that I has that it taught you that the situation taught you and this lesson taught you.
with the sage maybe um to help you clean up it's um write down journal write write a letter write down everything that needs to be cleaned out in your life so that you may at least have something tangible for you to know what needs to be cleaned up in your life so you could be crossing one by one out of your life because there's this this is this situation or this energy is keeping you in the dark basically it's keeping you trans um not even transparent it's like you can't see you can't see it's keeping you in this energy and it's like and this way of thinking or this events that you keep playing in your head from the past it's like it's you know write it down if it helps you write it down cross one by one the things that you know that needs to be clean out cleaned up out of your life be be gentle with yourself stop giving yourself so much of yourself you know Like, plan and set a date to, to do this cleanup. I feel like some need to plan a date because you guys' life might be too too um, too hectic or too much movement, like, here and there. So, I feel like it's time to set a date. Like, plan a date. Be like, you know what? On this date, I'm going to do this. This is what I need to clean up. Maybe you guys need to, you know, clean up your homes too. Declutter all this. A lot of things that bring memories, like remind you of things that need to be, you know, of the past, of the people that hurt you or the things that keeps you stuck in the past. It keeps you from moving on forward. You know, take some time out to take care of yourself, to take care of your, um, you know, your body. You know, show yourself some self-love. Take, take some time to even take a bath. Because you are carrying too much that it's time to clean it up and let that shit go. Cut cords. Cut it out of your life. Cut off the weight, the old, outdated thinking. Clean that shit up. Sorry if I'm cussing. And that is all I have for group three. Um, thank you for watching. I hope that this reading has brought you guys some healing and uh, a higher perspective into your situation. Um, send you guys a lot of love and a big hug and some blessings. Thank you for watching. Bye.